Hey there, I hope you're all doing well. It's Rebecca Orm here. I've just done my nails and I've filmed it for you guys to see. So I've just had in the new pastel colours from Mystic Nails Filling Form Collection, which is an Acrygel. And I've just got to put the violet one on myself. So here I am doing it for you. I thought I might as well just film it just to show you how easy the application with Filling Form actually is. It is so quick and it's really efficient for you to do in the salon, in your business, in somebody else's home. It's completely odorless. So it is a really good one for anybody who works in anybody else's home or in a hairdresser, somewhere where the odor might be a problem. And it's also really good for beginners um, who, uh, who are learning how to do acrylic because it gives you time to work the product without it polymerizing on you because Acrygel is light cured um, under an LED lamp. So all of these benefits, I thought I would just put some onto myself because I was really excited about the colors and show you the application as I went along. So I pre-prepped my nails before I started filming and there's the application of the sculpting forms going on. I always sculpt my own nails, I, ne I very rarely use tips, I wouldn't say never, never, but I rarely use tips on anybody that I'm working on. So sculpting forms all the way for me. So now I've got the nail prep to cleanse and dehydrate, I've got the primer to prime and I've got the bond booster as the base coat which is the essential part to making the whole thing a dear properly. Then we've got the Mystic Nails Gel Cleanser, which is pure ethanol, and I've got the new pastel shade Bilic in fill and form. Spatula to get the product out of the pot, and the Queenie brush is my ultimate favorite. It's an acrylic size 12 brush. It's perfect for working with Aqua Gel. So we'll start off with the nail prep. Make sure those nail plates are clean, dry, and dehydrated. Primer next, sparingly, don't touch the skin, apply it to every single nail. And then you can go straight in with the Bond Booster Base Gel. So this Bond Booster is the best base coat that we have for adhesion properties. You can use the base gloss if you're using gel polish, uh, but if your client has got some niggly lifting issues, then switch out your uh, base gloss completely and use the Bond Booster base gel instead. For the fill-in form, you must use Bond Booster. It is essential for that adhesion. So once that's done and cured, take your spatula and a small amount of the fill-in form, pop it onto the zone one area on the sculpting form, and then move on to the next nail and do the same again. So this is where it really gets efficient for you. This is where you really can save a lot of time when you're in front of the client and all of a sudden you're making money. So if you've got, um, so if you're quite slow at what you do, if you're a beginner, if you're worried about your timings at the moment, then um, Fill and Form Acrygel could be a real winner for you because you can do things like this, which makes you a bit more efficient all the time, and you can spend then time on your application. So wet your brush in the gel cleanser, like I say, it's pure ethanol, so there's nothing else getting in your way, and use the belly of your brush to just press out that bead into that nice, perfect shape that you want thin at the side walls, thin at the free edge, and you've got that little bit of thickness and strength running through the center of the nail, straight down the center. Get the shape as nicely as you can, but you're going to file this at the end anyway, so make sure the sides of your product come down just a little bit further down the sculpting form that you want. Make sure it's a little bit longer than you want it to be as well as an, uh, an extension edge, just so you've got something to file right at the end. Otherwise, your application will be a little bit short on the sides and you'll lose your strength. So you can now can go straight from one nail to the next because that bead of Acrygel is not going to go anywhere. Fill and form is absolutely perfect viscosity. So when you put it down, it is not going to budge. It holds the swirl that you actually put it down in. So as soon as you start touching it with your brush, you can place it wherever you want to with your normal pats and presses, and it will go exactly where you want it to and not move. Efficiency at its best. So 
if you feel like your product is sticking to your brush then just re-dip your brush into the gel cleanser and wipe it out so it's not dripping wet or anything like that you literally just want to coat your brush in it and go ahead and ca carry on with your application so here I'm just making sure that the bead is really thin on the nail bed itself can you see that I'm patting out with the belly of my brush just to make sure the application at that zone 2 area is as thin as I possibly can get it because I want the next bead to blend into the zone 1 bead that I've just put down so this is going to be a two bead method of application and it's just the quickest most efficient way of doing a set of nails so cure for one minute in LED all together all four nails and then you can go ahead and grab another bead out of your pot with the spatula and put it on at that zone two, zone three area, probably that, that joining area between the two zones. So you don't want it too close to the cuticle area and to the skin area. And you just move it around with your brush after that. So just grab a little bit, pop it down, grab a little bit more, put it down on the next nail and do all four nails at the same time. So even on yourself, this is really efficient. Wet your brush and then go straight in. So you can see here, look, just a little bit more uh, liquid than I wanted. So press some of the gel cleanser out of your brush. But you can see here, I'm just going straight in with the belly of my brush and then working it with the very tip of my brush. And I'm just bouncing and using the flex of the tip of the brush to get that job done. Press it out to the sides and then press it back in again. So you don't want thick sides, you don't want all of the bulbous product being pressed out to the sides and it flat in the middle. Press it, the bead out to the sides and then tuck it back in and move it over to the, the central part of the nail where all the strength is going to be. See the angle of my brush here? I'm just getting the, that zone three area right the way down, flush with the natural nail right at that skin fold area. And then my apex is just working itself into the right position because of the angle of my brush. So tuck the sides in and then just start smoothing down. The belly of your brush gets the most pressure on so you can just press that bead out, make sure it smooths with the next nail and blends completely and then just smooth down with your brush in that feather like touch. Straight into the next nail. Don't cure these nails in between, they are not going to budge, I promise you. When you've done one nail, you can move on to the next nail and none of this product is going to move while you're working. Look how much time I've got to manipulate the product perfectly and efficiently. Because it's not curing on me, I'm not panicking. I'm just pressing it down in all the right places, using the belly of my brush to make sure that that product is where I want it to be the tip of my brush to make sure it's smooth and flush at that zone three skin fold area. Sides are tucked in and the product is then smoothed. So it's all nice and quick. Last nail of the four here. I do four nails uh, once on one hand just because they can all go into the lamp uh, together and be upright, properly getting that full cure and then I'll do the two thumbs on their own together so that you can put both thumbs in at the same time and again you can put your four fingers underneath the base of the lamp so that the thumbnail sits properly in the lamp and gets a full cure surrounded by the lamp as it should be. But look how easily this product is manipulated. Press it out, smooth it down, cure, and we are ready to go. So I've taken those sculpting forms off and I'm just going to pop the one on thumb now. I thought I might as well show you that one while we go in, you know, just because it's the one of the more awkward nails to do. So on this particular nail, I'm going to break the back of the form. That perforation at the back, it's one that I normally keep attached I don't break the perforation on fingers but can you see where my knuckle is and the where that perforation would lie the knuckle gets in the way of your angle of your sculpting form so I break the back of the form just to get that perfect fit 
These forms are amazing by the way. They've got three tabs underneath. Once they're on, they do not budge. You can be assured that they are going to be stable while you're working. Absolutely amazing fit. So now prep to cleanse, primer sparingly without touching the skin, and then Bond Booster Base Gel to make sure you've got that perfect adhesion. Can you see how I'm scrubbing the Bond Booster into the natural nail? Just a little scrubbing motion, just make sure it's all completely covered the nail and it's adhered properly to the nail. So you haven't got to worry about your application of your Aquagel after that because you've got the perfect adhesion already with the Bond Booster. I just love these products so much. I'm an acrylic girl through and through, but Fin and Form has captured my heart. Now we can go ahead and file these babies. I am using a 150 grit, but there are some times that I would just use a 180 grit file. Seriously, these file like a hot knife going through butter. They are amazingly strong, considering how easy they are to file. So I always start with the outline of my nails first, and I get that perfect shape. Then I go into the side walls and make sure that those sides are perfectly flush and straight. Then around the cuticle, remember the angle of the brush at the zone 3 area? Keeping the same angle at zone 3 with the file. Feather and bevel that zone 1 down so you've got a nice thin free edge. And then glance over the apex area with your file, following the C-curve of the nail as you go. If you need help with filing the nails, I've got a filing series online nail tuition for qualified nail technicians who need a little bit of help with the technical parts, so look out for that coming soon. My go-to top coat, Joker Shine all the way, no cleanse, high gloss, absolutely amazing for so much. Goes over gel polish that it's that flexible but it will really make your acrylics super glossy and look at the end result. Absolutely beautiful, perfect colour, no clear capping, just go ahead and build straight off with the colour. Look at that gorgeous shape, absolutely in love with full and form.